Hey guys, welcome to uh, F&D Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you tuned into one of my last videos, um, I said I was waiting to hit the 320 pound mark to review my next piece of gear. Now this could be Big Guy Gear Review 5 or 6. This is the uh, Chair 1 by Kelinox. This says that it holds 320 pounds. That's why I was waiting to get there. So um, we're going to look at this today. And then, again, this video might not post for a little while because I'm going to go on some trips, use it, and uh, then get you some feedback on how it holds up. So let's open it up. There we go. So it's about a foot tall and uh, about four inches around. And uh, let me see if I get the scale and the weight. Okay, let's see how much this weighs. So about 2.11 pounds. All right, let's set it up. about a foot off the ground. There we go. First seat. Sturdy-ish, I guess. I guess if my feet, I feel better leaning back. Uh, but it's definitely a load off in terms of being a camp. I think it's a uh, much, much better option to the ground. But I guess if I had a nice dry log, I'd be fine. Now, this is sturdy on concrete. We're going to take it out on some adventures and see how much we like it. So, there we go. Work my seat in. It's got a little rockiness to it. Not that I want to put extra stress on it, but we'll see how it holds up. See you out there. Alright guys, well I'm out here at camp and I've been using it a lot, but I wanted to use it outside because this is F&D outdoors, but I got my Helinox chair and uh, I've set it up and down 10, 12 times now. I've spent hours sitting in it uh, and all that stuff, but man, I really do have to say it's a really easy to use product. I think if I picked it up and shook it, I mean you can hear it, it almost puts itself together. It does. See, I just shook it and it put itself together. That's how easy it's been. And uh, I continue to drop some weight. So I think the first time I sat in it, I was 320. Uh, it's, I've been using it for weeks. I'm 312 right now. Uh, that was just this morning. And it's been holding up fine. I've been leaning, sitting forward, you know, doing things in it. So it hasn't been unstable yet. We have nice hard ground because it's cold out. My last real concern is that, like, you know, it would stick into the mud. Uh, oh, yeah. I gotta tell you, this is so much better than sitting on stumps and logs and wet bark. This is nice. Ah, this is better for my bigger pack though than my ruck. That takes up a lot of space. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? 
you're on over there. Now the challenge is getting out of the chair. Ta-da. <laughs> Oh, this does feel good. So, all right, you got my camp chair here and I've been using it and like I said, I've used I've sat in this thing for hours and hours now since I've got it and I'm just checking all the little holsters and all well, the thread seems to be good. One, two, three. Everything looks good on it still. So it's holding up to uh, exactly its weight limit, 320, and now I've lost just a little bit more than that, but it's holding up and working. So overall, I gotta say that, you know, it's about a hundred bucks, but it's uh, it's holding up to what it says it does. It surprised me. So one of the things I was worried about with this chair is that the back legs have sunken into the ground, especially when I went to stand up. I thought I slowly felt myself getting a little off kilter now they sell an extra piece that you can put on the feet of these things but i'd hate to have to buy something extra to make the seat look work right i uh am not on the most solid ground on i've been all day but uh, i could just put a couple sticks under there well to give the uh, chair its due Since that one spot that it sunk into the ground, I've moved it all around elsewhere and it hasn't. So I think that was just a softer spot of ground, but uh, it's doing good. Ah, well, using the Helinox again, and uh, I gotta say I've been pretty impressed with it. It definitely holds up to the billing, the full 320. I've lost a little more weight since then, uh, even a few more pounds since last month, about 308, but uh, it's held up good. So. I give it a big guy gear review, seal of approval. Catch you next time on FD Outdoors.